a short video to explain some terminology that's mainly being used for 6G but occasionally for 5G as well. Let's start with millimeter wave or mm wave. Now mm wave covers frequency from 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. The table on the right splits this into lower and upper mm wave and highlights that the upper mm wave band is sometimes referred to as sub terahertz. This sub terahertz band is important because many 6G researchers are focusing on it for future communications. The terahertz band ex itself extends from 300 gigahertz to 3 terahertz. Even though some large organizations are researching this band for 6G, we don't believe it has strong support at the moment, especially given the limited success of widespread MM wave deployments. Finally, if we go a bit lower, to frequencies between 3 gigahertz and 30 gigahertz you may not have come across the term centimeter waves before but it's now being widely used although the upper centimeter wave band is technically between 10 and 30 gigahertz the industry now de often defines it as frequencies above 7.1 to 5 gigahertz the upper midband spectrum is considered the likely workhorse for 6g and it's expected that the first 6G deployments will happen in this band. 